Well, good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Monday early from here in Houston. Hope you are going to have a fantastic day. I am getting myself organized for the day. Thanks for joining me. You know me, I think it's so important to just get yourself going for the day. And so we're going to do that today. I am wearing white, pink, and green, although you can't see the green because it's in my leggings. But I am wearing white, pink, and green, so we're going to do a look with that. We're going to use pink eyeshadow, we're going to use a white jumbo stick, and we're also going to use a dupe for, um, oh, sorry, no, this is actually Flower Nose, one of their beautiful palettes, and it is where I can find my green. So, grab a drink. I have my trusty iced coffee. Grab your tools, grab something to eat if it's needed, and let's get ourselves organized for the day. Start our new week. You know me, how, how I love Mondays. I don't mean that facetiously, I really do look forward to Mondays. Normally, it is a reset for me and get to revisit things that I didn't get done last week, things I'm still haven't gotten to yet, things I didn't finish. Just mon I just Mondays for me are probably as favorite a day as Fridays. All right, so what are we doing this morning? Well, we have moisturized after we washed our face, as usual. We have used our Life Cell Anti-Aging Cream. We have also put on our Collagen Replacement product. That's all before we get here. That's the minute I get up and get dressed and brush my hair and brush my teeth. Then I come out here and I join you guys, and then we get on here, and we are using CoverGirl's Color Corrector Primer and Moisturizer. Love this product. It's in the pink color. It really does color correct those spots where I'm a little off in my complexion. Then we're using ELF's Cookies and Cream Primer today. Just trying to visit some products I have in my bag and get them used up and so save a little bit of some of the others. So now that we have all of that on, I'm going to just kind of let that dry for a second and I'm going to find if I got it out, I probably forgot it again, but we'll use another one here. We can use this one. I'm going to get my brows on while that's all drying. And I'm still using my Adele brow system. I'm just still not quite able to reach properly with my shoulder. So start physical therapy this week and I'm actually kind of looking forward to it just so I can get some movement back. I know it's going to be challenging, but I'm also really looking forward to getting the um, motion back in my arm. All right, so I'm just using my Adele powder, eyebrow powder. Just filling in following the natural shape of my brow. I'd be really curious how many of my how many of my followers and community members here have actually had their eyebrows done. Um, 
And what I mean by that is, have you had your eyebrows um, microbladed? There's a lot of people who are doing that. I think it looks really scary, to be quite honest with you. Not sure that that is a place I want to go to, but there sure are a lot of people doing it. So, be curious to know if you if you're part of my um, community. Um, thank you for that to begin with. And do you, have you had it done? Are you pleased with it? Would you do it again? I think is the key question. You know, I see some people who've had it done who are just thrilled to pieces with their microblading and then I see some people that have had it done that wish they hadn't had it done. Be really curious to get some feedback from everyone. Okay, now I'm just using up what is left in my concealer wand to try to use the remaining product instead of loading more and wasting more. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm just... Um, loading that and using that today and then we're just going to come in and we're going to use your makeup brush and get all that blended hope you had a wonderful weekend everyone i did it was not a nothing major happening in my household this weekend it was just really a weekend to decompress and grocery store laundry you know the normal stuff I made some more bread love my new bread maker by the way if any of you out there are using a bread maker it sure is nice to have that smell of fresh bread in your house <laughs> something about that smell that just is intoxicating all right so we've got all that on that looks really nice I am gonna add a little bit more right in here just right underneath Let's see if we can get a little bit less shadow there <clears throat> I do have a really busy week this week, starting my therapy, and I'm actually going to try to get up to see my dad for lunch. i to take him some things, and So I am going to try to get myself ahead this week, and, and what I mean by that, I'm just going to try to be ahead of where I need to be so I can go do that and go see him um, towards the end of the week, I hope. Okay, so now we've got all that on. It looks really good. It's all blended, and we're going to come in now with pink setting powder, Laura Mercier. some movement in the other end of the house. My husband might be moving around. Yep. And there he is. Taking my service dog out for a walk this morning. Probably have to redo the brows here in just a second. Alrighty, so for this look, what I want to do is I want to do pink on the um, all over the eye. Oh, let's do contour real quick. 
Let's just get contour done real quick. <clears throat> Let me finish first. Okay, getting contour done. Is that a yes? Yeah, I'm just getting ready for y'all. Okay. Alright, so contour is done. some lipstick on. My lips are really dry this morning. And we are using Pink Shimmer by Tarte. Very pretty. Really pretty. This is a beautiful um, Shimmer. It's not a, I wouldn't say it's even a uh, lipstick, but it's definitely a, a really pretty shimmer that just adds a, it's got a beautiful iridescent sparkle to it. Probably one of my favorite pinks, actually. Okay, so we're going to do pink in the, all over the eye and in the transition with a darker shade. And then we're going to come in and we're going to line with the green. So that's sort of the game plan. So we are using a Sheen palette. Um, Dicot Lou, I think is how you pronounce that. And um, from Sheen, can't beat it. Four dollar palette. And we're putting the really light pink everywhere. Following it all the way up underneath the brow bone, making that whole area look really open and wide. Then with the same brush, we're going to come in. So in the palette itself, I used this one. Now we're going to come in and we're going to use this one. And that's going to be the transitional color that we're going to be putting in here. Just to give a little bit of definition and make this look a little wider and more open, if you will. It's right here. Windshield wipe for motion back and forth. Gosh, this is such a pretty pink palette, and the, it lasts. It's, you know, it's amazing that this is only four dollars. It really is amazing. I mean, I'm all about using really good products, you know, but I'm also all about trying to stay within, you know, normal realm of spending money for makeup and. I gotta tell you, these products from Sheen, uh, they just really blow me away. Whether you agree or don't agree, I, you know, that's totally your choice. Um, but if you're trying to get good products and stay within a budget, these products really are um, kind of amazing when you think about it. I mean, I use these every week and I never have to touch it up. The colors are vibrant. They last all day. It's just, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Okay, so now you can see that I'm just taking that green and I'm putting it down on the 
uh, outside. I'm just shaping my eye. I'm just following the natural shape of my eye and using this as an eyeliner or an accent color. Obviously for me, um, green is one of my really good accent colors for my brown eyes. Now I do have a little bit of fallout because it's green, so I'm going to take my rectangular powder puff and I'm going to dip it down into my Revlon Color Stay finishing powder and we're going to sweep that out from underneath. And while we're at it, we're just going to blend before we put on any blush. I'm just going underneath the eyes and then I'm blending everything in using my powder puff here. Blend in my contour. You know, you guys were so right about the contour. I just didn't have a dark enough color and you were so right. You were on the money again. And so many of you reached out and said you need to try a darker color, and I did, and it's a, it's a combination palette, and I, I really am liking what I'm seeing. So thank you for getting me out of my comfort zone again. Okay, I'm just finishing in the brows because when I do my powder, sometimes with, especially when I'm using a powder on my on my brows, they um, have a tendency to, I have a tendency to lose some of the powder off. So I'm just going to come back in and just fill all that in that I knocked off there. There we go. Okay, so we've got on, now we've got to get to our blush, and I'm using my Tarte Energy blush. I'm trying to get this one used all up here. It's a beautiful blush. I will buy it again, because it is a good substitute and dupe for Christian Dior. Putting it on the apples of our cheeks. Carrying it a little up onto the cheek itself, too. Up into the temple area. Very pretty. That green and pink is really flattering. I'm not sure if... if my camera can pick that up or not, but it's a really pretty combination. Now, um, <clears throat> I am going to come in and just use a tiny little bit of my Jumbo White. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brush with this today. Because I really want it to be light. And I'm just going to brush the top here, get it on my brush, and we're going to add it right here, just to the corner. We're gonna have to do this straight on my eye. Yep. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put some right here. Just extending it from the tear duct. Just a little into the lid. Not, not even halfway. See? Okay. Then, I'm going to come back up with that same brush, and we're just going to blend that in. Did I 
just giving a little t pop of color right there. Okay, now that's done. Let's just grab our powder puff where we that I used for my pink setting powder, and let's just make sure that we have no harsh lines from our blush. Our neck is all blended, and then let's get in and let's curl these lashes. All right, okay. Get a sip of my coffee. Thank you everyone for your wonderful comments. I've been hearing from so many of you and I really, really appreciate all of your feedback. I really do. Um, <clears throat> I had a question this morning. Uh, the, when I use a thumbnail, well, how I make my thumbnails, okay, I, I try to use um, different thumbnails and headshots throughout posting my videos um, for variety. I mean, who wants to look at the same thing over and over again? Um, I use a lot of my headshots, too, for my modeling um activities and so when I finish a look and if I really like the way the look turned out then I will save that uh, headshot right away because what I generally do is I make this video and then I'm a very big believer that you've got to give back and express gratitude right we all we want, we want, we want, we want, we want, and there's nothing wrong with wanting everything. We work really hard, all of us. But you got to also get back and say thanks and just articulate gratitude. And I, I think that's really important. So when I'm finished with my, my videos in the morning, if I really like the way that it has turned out, I'm talking about the makeup, not the video itself, but the actual makeup look, then I will... Um, take a thumbnail of that and I'll start to use it in the rotation of my videos. And sometimes I'll go back and I'll use an older one. Just to clarify, I did have that question today. Alrighty, I am using my Thrive Makeup uh, Mascara this morning. This one has just about seen its last application, but we're going to see if we can squeeze a little bit more out of it before we throw it away. And of course, I'm starting down at the bottom of my lashes to get that curl nice and locked in. Thrive is a great product too. It's definitely in the top five mascaras for sure. I do love the wand on this. I'm going to say this is probably my second favorite wand because it's really hard. It's got really good combing effect. And there's, you know, there's no uh, play in play in it at all. There's no there's no wobbling of the, of the wand and I really like that in a wand. All right. Let's come down and put some on the lower line. done the 
this is the last application of this run. It is getting very clumpy and goopy. So it's time to get a new one. Sure. All right. Made a little mistake there, so we'll just come in and correct that real quick. Yep. And let me get my glasses on so I can see. Are they filthy? Yep, they're really bad. I gotta clean them this morning before I get working. All right, looks good. Let me just add a little more blush. green is really really pretty I'm contemplating and I think I will actually I'm gonna come in I'm gonna get a really tiny brush this one <clears throat> I'm gonna pick a little bit more of that green up and I am gonna bring up in here a little bit Just to give some color definition, yeah, in the transitional area of my eye. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that made an, a nice nice addition there. I do need to blend a little bit. A little heavy handed there. So I'm just going to come back in and blend. Actually, I'm going to use some setting powder. don't usually do this because I don't like the setting powder in my eyelashes, but I got a little heavy-handed here, so I just want to blend that out and make it look really soft. Much better. Alright, I think that's it, girls and guys. Get all of that powder off. That's it for me on this Monday morning, new week, new start, new goals, new everything. I love Mondays. It's just a great way to start your work week, set your goals up for yourself. My channels are all designed to help all of us have our very best life, to successfully have it all by sharing ideas and thoughts and comments and techniques and life experiences. That's what it's all about. That's how we help each other when we can come and find common ground in something and we can communicate, start a conversation. That's just where it all begins and where real ch where real c community starts and that's what, that's what my channels are all about. I want to hear from you. I hope to hear from you. You can go to my main landing page, which is my full name, CarrieDevlinsGroggins.com and you can get access to my companies, my passions, my interests, the, the things that I support, that I help to find <clears throat> and help others with, RSD and weight loss recovery techniques and ideas and experiences. And you can, don't forget, you can also book skincare 
makeovers, consultations, and makeup makeovers. If there's that special event that's coming up and you just want somebody to do your makeup, that is what I love to do. I love to help you look the very best that you can every day. Take 30 minutes every day, get yourself together, do your hair, do your makeup, and set yourself up to have the very, very best day that you can. Because when I feel when you look good, you feel good, and that just resonates out to the outside world. So have a fantastic Monday. Remember, your age doesn't divine, define who you are or what you can do. It's just simply a date. That's all it is, a day. We celebrate it every year, but it doesn't define who you are or what you do or where you're going. So if you're 90 or 9 or 29 or 49 and you've got goals and dreams, go get them. Go chase them. You're never too young and you're never too old. More now than ever, we can say that. The sky is the limit if you want it bad enough. you just got to work for it. Because nothing is just going to show up in your lap. The universe doesn't work like that. you got to work for it. you got to pay your dues. So have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning on this beautiful Monday down here in Houston in February 2024. I hope you have a fantastic week. Get out there and hit that grand slam, whatever it is that you do for a living. Make it happen today. Promise yourself you'll make it happen. If it doesn't happen today, at least set the groundwork for it happening soon. I believe in you. Thanks for joining me. If you would, hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video. And if you're not a, if you're not a member of the community, we'd certainly love to have you. Everyone is welcome here. If you are part of my community, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your support, your encouragement, your comments, for your concern about my husband and my surgery recoveries. That just does, it means the world to me that I don't know you, but you take the time out of your day to send well wishes, and I so appreciate that. I really, really do. So God bless you for that. Have a fantastic Monday, guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Make it a fantastic day. Stay safe. God bless.